Det er sådan. Gør han for Ja. Åh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oi. Just don't go too far. It's on your football skills. <laughs> Uh, go and get it. <laughs> Too much energy for me, that one. <laughs> You're right. I don't know. He won't be happy. He doesn't like it when we send him to stay with your dad. Dad's strict, but it's only temporary. We can't have James around when you're going for your treatment. It'd be too much. I know. I wouldn't like him to see me like that anyway. The longer he's there, the easier it becomes. Dad's a big softy at heart. Probably right. First step's always the hardest, I suppose. But he'll settle in. Yeah. Time flies. Mm. We'll be picking him up from Dad's in no time at all. And he's next to a beautiful beach. I love it there. Mm. For now, let's just enjoy today. Yeah. So open this one, two, and dun dun dun. The grill is open. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't film me. It's embarrassing. Look, I don't know how to use this. No, it's on there. Ah, oh, that's my. Uh, I know Mum can read. Oh, she's asleep. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Um, uh, we're all in place. Okay. We're all... Yeah, that's good. You had your fill for the night? I was asleep. That's why it stinks like a brewery in here. Come on. All right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. You never had any respect for me. I mean, you know why that is, don't you? Your bleeding family. Your mother especially, she never liked me, the snotty cow. That's enough. And your father, he was no different, the ungrateful cow son. Oh, piss off, Grandad. Don't take piss off to me.
Leave that. Is this from Dad? It's no concern of yours. What's up with you? Nothing. Look at Rudolph here, look at him, he's been in the old special juice again. Yeah. <laughs> Jingle bells. Hey, go on, go on, go on, go on, come on, mate. Yeah, have a few more. Yeah. See you all action here. Yeah. <laughs> Joe! Oh, Red, listen, mate, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Red. Look at the state of you! I ain't lost track of time. Really? I, I didn't mean to. Oh, just, James, I don't care. Just go home and don't come back. You're sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer up, son. Might never happen. <laughs> What you playing at? What? Red called me. Oh. You made a complete embarrassment of the both of us. Making a show of yourself in the place where you work, or now used to work. Yeah, I know. So, where do we go from here? I don't know. Oh. Jack's Irin down at the Carpenters. Maybe you should have a word with him. Jack? Jack's a creep. He nearly went to prison last year. At least he's not a failure. He's about the one person around here who would consider taking you on. So you go and see him tomorrow, right? Do we understand each other? Yeah. You go and see him tomorrow, bright and early, before he takes someone else on. Right, now you better go to sleep. Go on. James, you are here because of Bill. Right? Your granddad is a good man, a good friend of the family, right? With your behaviour, you're making him look like a fucking mug. So, what are we going to do about it, eh? I'll tell you what we're going to do about it. You are going to go out there, right? And you're going to finish my delivery. And you're going to do that for me for free, James, all right? Or, you're going to give me this lovely high viz, you give that back to me. I'm gonna get the fuck out of my workshop. Do you understand? Fuck off. Lovely, mate. Good choice. You've 
one of my beers again, haven't you, you little bastard? I haven't had any. Yes, you have. They're nearly half gone, you thieving little gitch. I haven't touched them. Come out here now. Have you got anything in for breakfast? It's lunchtime. Right. You got the day off, have you? Of course you have. You've done it again, haven't you? I think this must be some kind of new record. How many days did you last this time? Sorry, the job wasn't for me. Yeah, they never are. If you're looking to eat lunch, you better find something of your own. You're not having any of my food or drink. To work, are we? Off to the circus, are we? You used to say you like to make up like this. I had a strange sense of humour. Let's go on then. Who are you seeing now? I'm not seeing anyone now. You can tell me, no, it's not going to upset me. I don't care if it does. Where are you off to then? Hmm? God, I wonder who's going to sack you next. Good luck trying to find someone, because I'm pretty sure you've pissed off anyone stupid enough to hire you. There's nothing in English at all, look. Yes, Bill, it's definitely him. I see him on the camera system and I've watched it again and again. Look, that ain't good enough. He's a waste of space, Bill, and I've had enough. I've had enough of all his drinking and moping about. I know, Red. I've... There's a reason why no one in this town likes him. You told me you disciplined him since childhood. Yep. Well, he ain't been spanked enough. He needs a right yep. ride in that straight man make a man out of him. He was useless when he worked here and he's still giving me grief even though I'm shot of him. I'm telling you, you either straighten this out or you're done for. Yeah, cheers, Red. Cheers, mate. Oh, had a productive day, have we? Did you hear all that from Red on the phone? Did ya? Speak up! Yes, I heard it. 
You got anything to say? Not really. No, well, listen to me. You're going to go around to Red and you're going to apologise to him and you're going to pay him back for the stock that you stole. I don't have the money for that. Well, find him and you make sure that your apology sounds sincere. Get showered and changed and get out and find yourself a job again. Actually, Brandon, I'm thinking I might take some time off. Time off? Time off what? You don't do anything. Well, maybe it's this place. Maybe I need some new scenery. I might go see Dad. Your dad? Your dad abandoned you. Why do you think he'd want you turning up? People change, don't they? Huh, if only. Oh, you know what? Forget the apology. I am going to go see Dad. You ungrateful little shit! Red would have been round here with a baseball bat if it hadn't been for me. The number of times I've stopped you from getting your legs broken, and now you want to bugger off and leave me here with all your problems? <laughs> James? 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 You're a waste of space. A burden to anyone who knows you. You look like shit. Where are you off to now? Just give you a rest. Don't you think I've heard it all by now, Kirsty? Maybe. Yet you still keep repeating the same screw ups. Yeah, well, I'm doing something about it now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm leaving. Leaving? Right, and what difference will that make? I don't know. I want to figure that out. I have to leave. Get away from this place. This place? I wasn't meant as a dig, but you know what I mean. You know what it's like here. I don't know anyone who isn't miserable. It's a dead end. We used to like each other once upon a time as well. I think we more than liked each other. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and then you cut that one up. Wait for Kirsty. It's always my fault, apparently. Clive. Did you not hear the bump? I don't think so. Mind if I get out and check the tyres? Oh, I know what you like. <laughs> Your mind won't be at rest if you don't do so. Is it, Wendy? See that young man up there 
He looks lost. I'm worried about him. He's probably just waiting for a train or something. Mm, oh, would you go and check on him for me, please, dear? I know what you like, Wendy. Care for everyone and everything. I'll be right back. I say, why, why so glum, John? What? Well, I couldn't help but notice that you look like you, you're having a rough day. For better, I suppose. Or worse. Oh, what seems to be the problem, if, if you don't mind me asking? Nothing. Tired, hungry. I'm only in the lift, but no one's given. Oh, a lift to where? To London. London, oh jeepers. Look, I can't promise to take you all the way, but I can get you a lot closer. You're offering the lift? Well, uh, it's the least I can do. My, my, my conscience would give me a jolly good fist shaking if I didn't give you a push in the right direction. You're a lifesaver. Oh, think nothing of it. Now look. Come and meet my wife, Wendy. She's in the van. Oh, I'm, I'm Clive, by the way. James, is she going to be all right with it? Oh, she'll be fine. We do this all the time. Now, now, come on. Let's meet Wendy in the van. Come on. That's right. <laughs> oh. Oh. There we go. That's it. Take a seat. <laughs> Lovely. Good. So where's it you're heading to? Oh, James is heading to uh, London. Isn't that right, chum? Yeah, that's right. I've told him we can't take him all the way, but. Uh, well, we'll get him a, a lot deal closer. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, James, but we've got a prior commitment. No, it's fine. You've felt me out more than enough. Oh, we're heading to a wedding, aren't we, Clive? Heading to a wedding, Wendy, yes. That's nice. Whose is it? It's my sister Sandy's. Oh, she's marrying the sweetest man. He works in a chocolate shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Wendy! <laughs> Tell us about your travels. What's uh, down in London for you then? Oh, I don't know if it's that interesting. My dad's there. I'll go see what he's been up to. So have you been to the city before? I've been outside my hometown. Oh, wow, this is a real adventure for you then. Yeah. Maybe it's a whole new life, hey, James? That's definitely the plan. Whatever happens, there's no looking back now. Again. I won't forget it. It's our pleasure, chum. Are you sure you'll be all right from here? Yeah, I've got the address. So are you OK for directions and such? I'll just ask around. Well, good luck. And if we're ever in London, we'll come and say hello. Right. We will. Toodle pip now. Sorry, mate, we're about to close. It's all right, I was just going to ask for some directions. Where are you getting your directions to? Oi! Sorry, um... Doesn't matter. I'll let you close it.
You looked a bloody fool. Stood there dribbling over an empty bottle of beer. Can't you find a full one? That's more important than all it is. Or do you think your dad can do better? When he sees what you are, he'll cast you aside all over again. There's nothing for you here. Dave, we're nearly there. You go half. Just a few more to come. Great. I'll get started soon. Hello? New face, I see. What's your name? James. Well, thanks for your help, James. No. You're not one of mine, are you? Are you with Kate's group? Yeah. Where is she now? No, she's just getting the rest of the stuff from the van. Okay. All right, great, we've got enough to get started with. Let's build the fire and then we'll get cooking. You hungry, James? Definitely. There you go, that's all right. So, some, somebody else? Can I get you a drink? No? Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Of course you can. Hey Kate, how you doing? Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? Yeah, good. Good. How's your group? Some of them are cheery. Do you mind if I take a look at your list? I think I may have a duplication on mine. Yeah, 
Sure. There you go. Thanks. No problem. Do you want a drink? Yeah, I'll take a water. Thanks. Yeah. All good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Excuse me. Did you want this? Oh, cheers, mate. People change, don't they? If only. The reason why no one in this town likes him, you told me you disciplined him since childhood. Good luck trying to find someone, because I'm pretty sure you pissed off anyone stupid enough to hire you. You're a waste of space. Burn to anyone who knows you. What are you doing over here by yourself? Sorry. Dozed off. Been a long day. Got enough to eat? Mm, plenty. So tell me about yourself, James. What's your story? Not a lot to say. I don't believe that. I don't know if you'd want to know. I don't want to bore you. Now I'm interested. What do you do when you're not doing this? Not a lot. Other than make life difficult for myself. How so? Doing things that set me back. Things I'm not proud of. Is there something causing that? I've been making excuses to explain it for a long time. It's starting to wear pretty thin. You can elaborate if you want to. I'm a drunk. In a waste of space. And a burden to anyone who knows me. But I don't want to be anymore. Who'd want that? Well, what's the plan to change that? Left home. Well, that could be a start. Where to next? You think you might volunteer it? These events again? No. I was planning on moving to London. What's in London? My dad's there. Well, that could be a good reason. What are you leaving behind? Shit off. 
Well, that's a pretty good thing to leave behind. I'm going to get some sleep. You should too. Have you given up yet? What? I said, have you given up yet? Coming home? No. How long until you do? I won't. No? Why not? What's so different this time? I care about this. Do you? More than this? This is all you care about, son. You're a waste of skin and bone. I've had enough of you. I've had enough! <laughs> You've been on the old special juice again. Mm, good luck trying to find anyone stupid enough to hire you. Your granddad is a good man. Sit down, James. I'm leaving. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down! Right, we're on the outskirts of London here. We're in Kingston. If you follow this road, you'll get to Richmond Park. Keep going through Richmond Park and eventually you'll get to London. I know you haven't got your phone, but if you ask around and just stick to that road and you'll make it. Thanks, Harvey. Sorry to leave early. We'll manage without you for the remaining days. We were slightly surprised to find you sneaking away this morning. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm grateful you both came along to point me in the right direction. It would have taken me a lot longer otherwise. We know you weren't part of the event, James. What gave me away? I spoke to Kate, she doesn't know who you are. I wasn't here to cause trouble. I just saw all the food you guys had. And I didn't know when my next chance at a square meal would be. That's what I guessed. I kept to myself all night. I just slept on the grass. I know. I know. You didn't bother anyone. You seemed like a decent guy. And I'm glad that we could give you a decent meal, OK? Just volunteer next time. I wish you luck in London, James. I appreciate that. I don't know what my dad would think when he sees a stay in me. What will you do if you can't find him? I don't know. Find a drink somewhere. That's getting pretty old now. Whatever happens, James, you've always got options. London's a big place. There's a lot of opportunity there. See you, Harvey. Thanks again. And, uh, sorry. Again.
Oh, it's James. James? Yes, sir. I'll buzz you up. Is that you? Hi, Dad. Do you want to come in? Yeah, I've been working away all last week, so I've only just got around to cleaning up. The place was looked like I bombed it yesterday, but probably good timing actually. Now that now that you're here. Granddad's letter, I presume. Is that how you found me? Took time. Yeah. You know, Mum was the best part of us. I could never bring up a kid of my own. What with working and everything going on. Dad. Aren't you going to take it? Come on, don't drag this out. You've failed at everything you tried. But you'll soon be back to your old habits. Why delay the inevitable? Sit down and have a drink. You've tried your best, but you're chasing a fantasy. Enough's enough. 
You know, deep down, your dad doesn't want you around. He left you with me. You really gonna forgive him for that? I'm finished with the past. I'm tired of you pulling my strings. I'm tired of self-pity and thinking I'm the only one with problems. Seems like he wants a second chance. And so do I. This is the first step towards that. And I'm never turning back. No thanks. I don't drink. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to get that. I think it's probably work. I'd literally be a couple of minutes. Okay. Beers again, haven't you, you little bastard? Just go home and don't come back. You ungrateful little shit! I have to leave. Get away from this place. A moment of your behaviour make him look like a fucking mug. Look, that ain't good enough. He's a waste of space, Bill, and I've had enough. I've had enough for his drinking. You looked a bloody fool. Stood there dribbling over an empty bottle of beer. There's nothing for you here. Those steps always are high. Whatever happens, James, you've always got options. London's a big place, there's a lot of opportunity there. Maybe it's a whole new life, eh, hey, James? Oh, wow, this is a real adventure for you. Beer? I don't drink. 